God bless Tubo. Mm. You see, I've had these outfits for a few years now. But if I walk back, I want it to wedding. I want it to birthday party. I want it. I will wear it again. Okay. Hi, and welcome to a brand new episode of Off Air with Women in Tools. How are you guys doing? Hey. Before we start. Before we start, you know what I'm going to ask you to do. <laughs> have you subscribed? You haven't. <sighs> have you liked? You mm-hmm. haven't. Mm-hmm. What are you waiting for? Get to. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Ah, I didn't know where I was going with that. <laughs> uh, so very very important. Um, you know we like to laugh, we like to you know jest and everything. But right now it is extremely important if you haven't done so already to get your PVC. Mm-hmm. Very very important. Everybody knows the madness that's happening in the country right now, and you need to be fully prepared to vote when the time comes. And the link is right here. Yeah. Um. Okay. Before you know it, 2023 will be here, and it'll be time for you to vote so make sure you click yeah there's no excuse really vote to um, vote then is they're not charging you for it get it and exercise your right to vote when the time comes all right let's jump into fan mail we got some fan mail uh we got we have quite a few let's see how many we can get from you today all right so uh we're gonna keep him anonymous mm-hmm. or her or they yeah mm-hmm. we're gonna keep <laughs> them anonymous <laughs> All right, so this is how the email reads. My ex broke up with me December talking about how I was not man enough to take care of her. This is a person that I paid her rent, gave monthly allowances to in the three years we dated and also great sex. I neglected my own dreams to kill. That's important, right? I neglected my own dreams to fund hers and invested my life savings in the company she worked in, which already crashed last year, by the way. I even introduced her to a monthly contribution in my office, which I ended up being the one paying since since that last year owing to the fact that she does not have a job and can no longer pay up after collecting a huge sum of money oh what do, what do they call it a job yeah where everybody donates and then one person gets it so she oh, basically God. collected it and bounced <laughs> that um, happened in, you know what let's talk about yeah. that later <laughs> a month after she broke up with me she lost her job and came back begging that she regretted all she did and said I insisted, however, that I didn't want the relationship anymore, even though deep down I loved her. It's been six months now since our breakup and I still haven't been able to move on as I'm not comfortable with all the girls I've been seeing. I know she's moved on because I see her WhatsApp status and it pains me to my bones. The problem is she did so leaving me in debt, both from bank and my office and has has never tried to check on how I'm faring or paying the money she collected from my office just because I was the one that introduced her to the contribution. I'm confused right now on what to do. Basically, you're in bondage. (laughs) Because how is it that you dated somebody, you invested so much financially, emotionally, mentally, and you now are in debt Mm. and you're still kind of missing this person. This Mm. person hasn't Mm. kind of said, okay, all the money you probably lent to me, all the money that you, you know, supported me with or whatever, can I can can I just try and repay some of it back? None of that. And you're saying you miss her. It's bondage. Apart she from has that. you tied up like this. <laughs> she has you tied up with Kandu and picture. That's the kind of person that she bed. used to advertise Kayamata. <laughs> this one but, has... No, no, lost. no. But I, I, let's, let's, apart from jokes apart, I think you need to be honest with yourself and see that she doesn't care about she you. She don't give a rat. Okay, rat's like ass. you said, you, you've seen her WhatsApp status. She has moved on, one. She has not cared to check on you to find out how you're faring in terms of the uh, loans that you're still paying back, the debts that you're still owing. In this economy, mm-hmm. this person does not like you. you know so what? I think you should just block her. So that you will stop seeing her status, block her, delete her number, everything. I don't know, but you need to free yourself from this thing. At the end of the day, I realize that she's not the one for you. The person that is for you will not put you in debt like this and go away without caring. She doesn't like you, Seth. I don't think... Okay, let's just say that she doesn't love you. She doesn't like you. So, I would suggest, Mr. Man, or Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Person, I would suggest that you just take this L. Just take the L 
and in your future just leave her just leave her don't try and be friends don't try and be just let it go and just realize that you know this one you kind of lost it so you know take your l learn your lessons uh for your future relationships there is no reason to get into debt for anybody there's Simple. no reason to get into debt for anyone and if the person really cares for you if the person saying i love you Tori Tori, all of that crap they should not be asking you to get into debt you should not have to sacrifice mm. every this isn't even somebody you're married to even if you're married to the person why would you need to sacrifice everything it's crazy so mm. please don't do that in the future just take this l move on you know Simple. have like a drink or two cry and then keep it moving simple i don't take it out of the next person yeah don't take don't do that don't do that just accept that you kind of messed up on this one mm. and you know what this is this is, you you didn't think we were going to come here and be like oh my gosh such a horrible person <laughs> we're going to give it to you this is what happens just take the l she doesn't on. like you see there's nothing more painful than when you are loving someone and then you realize it, okay it's, it's one thing for the person not to love you but just to even like not even regard you Cause she, has, song? she has no respect for you. She doesn't like you, so she doesn't even love you. Sorry. Yeah, and she's <laughs> she's moved on hella quick. I'm <laughs> saying these things so you think, so you reset. <laughs> you know. Uh-huh. Anyway, so best of luck with your future endeavors. Look, you have to be real <laughs> and honest, and that's you have to tell yourself the hard truth so that you can move on. Mm-hmm. There's no point sitting there listening to Neil and uh, Adele, <laughs> and this person is living her best life. I still think you should. I think every relationship, you know, mourn it, but don't kind of get too stuck in exactly. that thing. Exactly. So you know, and as for the debts, you know, you sound like you're a hardworking young man or a smart person. You you pay it off and you've learnt your lesson. It's okay. Do, I've, I, do you guys know people? That have done that gone of into course, debt for somebody else course. i don't know anyone that i know men that. and women who have paid no that for school fees masters oh okay um they're trying to hustle to jackpot and this one person says okay let me and it, it works out for one person and you know you need money and then their partner then you know says okay here because i know you're going to go and prepare there for me uh, yeah, and yeah. then when they get there it's i know uh, so, some even with children so yeah it happens that is all it's just it's 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 amazing to me like i don't even understand how like somebody else that's not like a parent or whatever can decide to pay for your masters everything that's crazy but it happens it's been happening it's been happening do you know what i think a lot of this like my mentality has it's it's because i you know grew up in the uk where (laughs) if you can't afford to do masters you Mm. don't do your masters there's more of a communal apart from family you know family members that, that can help out you yeah. know as there's we're more inclined to anyway there's there's a fan mail that we'll get to and okay. i guess that i will explain what i'm trying this to say one, boy, i can't this. i can't even imagine getting into debt even as i am now married um and i think my husband knows the kind of person i am if there's a business deal or something that we want to that he's like thinking mm-hmm. okay this is fantastic mm-hmm. this seems great and everything he would never ever ask me to go out and maybe take a loan or go and borrow money from somebody and i wouldn't do the same thing but him. some people will also argue and say that you should be able to do anything for your partner however this is your life partner so you should be able to do anything yeah, but, and they should be able to do anything for you as well but, vice versa yeah but you know anything but with sense <laughs> you know i'm not i do what <laughs> If it's if it's something what that if you the money was going to be like, hmm. or you, like you were going to, like you were one sure. of one of the things that we both agree on, one mm-hmm. of the things that we both agree on in terms of investments and everything, we do not try. We, do, we basically don't invest any um, amount of money that we can't afford to lose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So even this, you know, this Olori Broku Dodge coin and everything, both of us were sitting there like, ah, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> but but guess what we wow. kind of were like okay but we didn't put it wasn't money that would it that wasn't would like you. it wasn't like school fees money yeah, for like years yeah, yeah, that we yeah. were just gonna be sitting there like what you know mm-hmm. so we kind of we took it on the chin like okay you know we both kind of messed up let's keep it moving and i went to go and buy bitcoin generally which i should have done in the first place but it's all good hmm. anyways i'm still waiting for the people that told me to buy dogecoin it's going on oh don't buy, buy the day buy the day buy i'm the not day. buying anything I'm again buying anything. i'm not buying yeah. artist swiss go do at the dodge coin at the, i'm not buying anything again imagine just rolling up on elon musk somewhere like in public he's I'll be not like, the only person he involved. knows what he did he knows what he did with the dodge coin he knows the influence that he has okay. he knows what he did i thought you said the money wasn't that plenty but still <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm an ninja boom and i still don't like losing money ah, okay. it was it was Shout so bad at one point i just i just logged out of the app i said 
oh le wa dori miru let me just wow, go and fix wow, my shoe wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, he was just going down and down You know, I've not, I've not opened the app. In. We, I, did, I forgot to say that. <laughs> anyway, anyhow, you know, when, when we're talking about money, we both get riled up because we like money, and I think I need a drink. <laughs> so you know, don't get world. into debt for anyone. Honestly, though, if somebody is in a relationship with you, if somebody is like saying, claiming they love you and everything, and they're encouraging you to take a bank loan out, especially in this country where interest can kill you, mm. it can kill your soul, mm-hmm. it can, it kill, can your kill your soul. Don't yeah. That But think about this, the the thousands or millions of men and women who, for example, maybe they're trying to jackpot, for instance, jackpot, and jackpot. you know, in a legal way, not illegal or whatever, and then you need money, you need a yeah. substantial amount of money, and then the per- person says it, it works out for one person. And the, and the other person is like, okay, well, I know you don't have enough. So here, mm-hmm. and they empty out their bank account or they empty out their savings and say, yeah, take. So go over there and then send for me when it's time. And <laughs> you said, you said, uh, you know, said, said empty your savings and the chill just went down my spine. Yeah. 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 What did you send for me when it's time? <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. Don't, don't, don't wait, when that's settled. Do you yeah, know how many, you, you know what? Do you know how many stories that touch? You know what? You know the funny thing? Start to win. He will send for me. <laughs> you, know, you know the funny thing. You know, you know, have you have you noticed that is the two is the two foreigners in the room that are just like flabbergasted by this whole thing? Because this thing happened. You, you have passport, so you don't get it. That's why. But then we'll move on. Let's move on. I send for me. It's just nobody. But then it has worked nobody out for some people, and it hasn't worked out for some people. So hey, mm-hmm. I'd have to see papers of like stuff that you're buying over there. They can't like, even give you. Like it could That's be my more couples. More it, it, could, it could even it, even then, it and it has worked out for some people. And I've also seen some people that I actually know personally that they've gone, and the person just was like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the person left the other person with children back here. Yes. Anyway, at all. At all. Anyway, at all. let's get to our fan mail. Yes. Um, this person says, "Hello, Bimmy and Tools. I'm watching your last episode now. Thank you for that. Hope you like to subscribe. And I just, I have to send a message. She says, "What if you want to pay your school fees, and your best friend, who doubles as your roommate, wants to celebrate her birthday? She wants to do it big." Is she entitled to borrow you the money and forfeit celebrating her birthday? CC, I always wait, wait, wait. The answer is everybody in the room now. No. no. You guys are What? saying yes. Who said yeah, yes? Who said yes? Just, 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 just. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I understand how frustrating it is when there's a lack of funds, especially when you have important things to pay, yeah. important things to pay for, like school fees, and it can be very hurtful when it feels like ah, this money you're looking for is what somebody else is squandering. But at the end of the day, nobody owes you anything. Nada. All right, it would be nice for her to say okay you here or have some of it or have all of it to pay your school fees and pay me back when but how are you even going to pay back do you have a job what's going to happen at the end of the, i understand that it's be peppering you and maybe the the whatever they are giving you will be burning your throat as they are singing the remain in the club i <laughs> think <laughs> 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 hey i don't have money for school fees but the remake but i mean <laughs> I'm just saying. I just drink the champagne and celebrate with them. I mean, it's, it's very... Your way I, the next see, there's, day. A, there's a thing in Nigeria where people are very entitled to other mm-hmm. people's money, especially when they are in close proximity with the people and they feel like, ah, but uncle or auntie or ah, sister or brother, ah, but you can't afford it now. Help me now. Give me the money now. Ah, ah, please now. That kind of thing. Yeah. And we need to stop that. You know, we need to stop that. At the end of the day, yes, it's great to get help. But she doesn't owe you her birthday. I don't care if she wants to use it to tattoo something on her bum bum. Mm. It's none of your business. If she wants to, like all these people that are tattooing politicians and celebrities, if she wants to get like a full body tattoo or I don't know Tinubu or whatever, that's her money. She But then again, it is very human of you also to feel bad yeah. that here I am in need and this person is not helping. It's yeah. a human thing and I'm not discrediting your feelings. Mm. It's normal. It's Do you but know what? We you have to, to also then be talk about. That's actually a good point that you mm. brought up because a lot of people feel that if you have these negative feelings you're like a bad person. No. Actually that's not true. You're actually human. So if you're like even um you know sometimes you might you know maybe your friend has got like this awesome job and it's everything and the money is great and everything and a part of you is like oh wow 
and that for me is human now if you take those feelings and you take it to a bad place and then you start being envious and everything mm. that is when you start going into the bad friend territory but yeah. if for a second you're just like oh i wish that was me i don't think there's anything wrong with that mm. i don't think there's anything wrong with that but this whole sense of entitlement and i don't like you know what i hate the most when people say but you can afford it now do you I, know my bank? Are you my, are you my so account what? officer? How is do you know your my business? bank account? How is do you know what business? I have to pay for? Do you know what I'm taking care of? It's just you know I've had I've had people even in our workplace. Yo. I've had people come to me Yo. and just basically say, okay, I've got this bill, girl. Know, we can be loud now. I've got mm. this bill, and I'm just mm-hmm. like, um, I I'm not the person that's paying. It for your just salary. happened and recently to me where someone came and said, oh, they had this story about a need. I'm not going to be specific in so that they don't see this. And I was like, well, right now, no, they needed a loan. And I was, I was like, right now, I can't, I, I'm sorry, I can't do that right now. And the person was like, ah, uh-uh. ah. No, we didn't say ah, but it was like, ah. I said, yeah, but right now I can't. He was looking at me like, ah, but ah, uh-uh. ah. I said, ah. We're all rubbing powder every day. Everybody has issues, okay? Everybody has What's that things. saying? Problem never finished. Ah, everybody, everybody's <laughs> dealing with so much. Just because you see the weave, you see, you see, no, 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 no. You see the weave on is bouncing. You see the sequins shining. You see the makeup popping. Do you know how you, old this wig is? <laughs> do you know? <laughs> this wig is going on six years. Do you know? No, no, but I do have wigs that are going on six years that are still in good condition. You take care of your see, Don't just shove see, your wigs into a bag. Right but that's now, another day. Like I'll right now, day. for me, the biggest eye opener the biggest eye opener for me has been having kids that mm. shit is real mm. these unemployed people they're cute they're, they're very lovely, expensive but they don't bring any money in that is why <laughs> that is why i can slap the face of anybody that asks me now are you when are you having a second job? because See. they are so expensive she's beautiful i thank god for her every day as my, a modern i'm saying i ah, thank you jesus my but boys very expensive love them cute somebody love but them. still Mm. I went to, so I went to, um, okay, I'm not going to name this hospital. How much because, is school? Mm? How much is school? See, and, when, I, and when, I, see, when I tweeted that thing the other day, that I'm like, look, this boy has been going to school for a few weeks now. And I had to pay, there's, there's some kind of developmental charge that you have to, um, is it school developmental? It's not like for the kid. This fee, this fee that they include in your in the kids' school fees is basically a fee that if, for some odd reason, the, the school wants to expand or something, mm. that's what they're charging you for. But why are they charging you? And I was you? like, how is that my business? I have a question. And, so, wait, 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 let me finish Ventino. <laughs> so my thing is, yeah, they charge all of this. There's this, um, uh, what's it called, registration fee. Da, 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 da. And I'm just like, this boy has been going to school for a few weeks. He has not come to me to say, mama, what do you think of the current state of the, the economy in Nigeria? Say, he has not come to me to say, he never said to me, mama, how's your <laughs> mama. Mama. Do you know, mama, how's your... what they call you? Not, eh? they should... No, they call me mama, but I'm like, you know, I'm expecting him to, and I'm like, this boy's been going to school for four weeks. What are you doing? Eh? What are you, how, how many times can you say red, blue, green? What, what, what's, what's that, so, what's that thing so, again? Paw Patrol. So, how is Paw Patrol going to bring money to the house? Tell me. So my question is, so, I'm so confused. So, did they give him homework? What is it, what, no. Like, you know what it is? So it's, it's more or less daycare. It's pretty much daycare, but I kind of felt that I didn't want him to stay at home a lot because mm-hmm. I also felt that him being with, you know, kids his age. He should socialize. Yes, yes, because he got used to, like, playing by himself mm-hmm. or just him and the nanny and everything. And at the same time, I just wanted him to, like, you know, better his speaking skills. Yes, yes, yes. So when people now start saying, oh, but you, and I'm like, motherfucker, I got two kids. <laughs> I got two kids. I took one of them to the hospital the other day for a checkup. I started shouting. I didn't even know when I started shouting. And again, it's not that, can't, that I can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I went to pay. They were like, oh, including the checkup. That's, I was like, because of what? I said, that's checkup. That was five minutes. Oh, no. I was like, no, 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 no. So they actually had to reduce the bill for me. And it's not like I'm, you know, scrimping and saving or whatever. But I just feel that it's it's expensive raising kids. It's expensive raising kids. So before you come to me and look at my wig and look at my makeup and look at just think about the fact that she's got two kids at home. This two outfit kids. I'm wearing. Hmm. God bless Tubo. You see, I've had this outfit for a few years now. But it wear work, I've wanted to wear them. I've wanted to wear a party. I want it. And we wear it again. Okay? You don't just think that people are shining and you just think, oh, they just fling the clothes. And we wear it again. Wear it again. No, wear it again. I'm sorry. So, yeah, just... Just before you start thinking, well, they look like they can afford it. Just think about, first of all, think about what that person's paying for. When um, we actually worked out like our, our expenses for the house, I was just like, what? 
because there's certain things i was just like okay i wasn't taking care of that bill so i didn't know so think about that think about the people they are already helping out because everybody has somebody that that's, they're helping out you know maybe every month they kind of just throw a little something their way so think about that and then think about you carrying your entitlement like rock sack and coming to meet them and mm-hmm. say oh but you can afford it so just think about those things it's not like people don't want to be generous but a lot of people have a lot on their plate already i just have to say Thank shout out to tattoo. all firstborns mm-hmm. Shout out to all firstborns whose parents are retired. Shout out to all firstborn daughters. Ah, God will bless you. The Lord is your strength. That is all. Anyways, so to conclude that van mail, yes, you should be feeling some type of way because it's not your money. Yeah. If she wants to literally have like, I don't know, for her birthday, an inflatable balloon with her face on it, she can do it <laughs> because it's her money. Okay? You don't know. Maybe she's gone through something you know, emotional, and she just kind of feels, I want to celebrate this birthday. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you don't know it is what that it is. She will die tomorrow. It is Maybe what one it prophet is. has told her something. You don't know. Or it a doctor, what whatever. Okay, so we, there's this thing we saw on Diary of a Niger Girl. Shout out to you, sir, by the way. Um, where there's this lady who sent in some, says they are four friends. They're all around the same age. They're all doing well in their careers. She's the only one who's not married. And she said they all agreed that if you ever find out that one person's man is cheating, mm. you should you should say something. So she said that one of them's husbands works in her office. Mm-hmm. And he's been carrying on, meaning having an affair with one of her bosses. Oh, la, la. And so she said to her friend, yo... Um, she asked her friend, oh, she asked her friend or something like that, like, oh, um, do you think your husband is cheating? And she said no, that she doesn't even see any sign or anything. She doesn't mm-hmm. suspect in any way, shape, or form. And then she said, well, be careful, especially of, of him, his relations with this person. Mm-hmm. She mentioned the person. And she was like, the babe just kind of shut, you know, kind of brushed it aside and said, when you are married, it's because you are not married. When you are married, you understand that your husband can have female friends. And she said that thing pained her to the core. Only to find out a few weeks later that I think she, I think she later now found out about the yeah. affair, and then the she wife. came, yeah, and she came to now attack her friend to say, why didn't you just say it specifically that he cheated? Why were you just dancing around with something that is not until I get an STD? Kiniko, kiniko. Now she says she feels bad, um, but she already gave you small, mm. and you 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 shoved her yeah, singleness in her, her face mm. basically, and said it's because you don't have husband. So if she had told you, what are you going to do? You go and give the husband a full scab sheet and be like, Lola, uh, Kiniko said that you were seeing this person at this time, at this time, at this time, at this time. And, and so she said she feels bad. Should she feel bad? Um, I understand her feeling bad because obviously their friendship has been affected. Mm. Um, but I feel that there's so many people, there's so many people um, out there that because they don't want to be the bad messenger, because they don't want to be the one that, bearer you know, of bad news. Yeah, the bearer of bad news and everything. They just kind of look away. Mm-hmm. They just don't say anything. And I think that's bad, especially if you consider this person your friend. I think um, I, one of my good friends, you know her as well, she's the kind of person, if she sees anything, she'll go up and say hi to him. She'll mm-hmm. go up and say to like, hi. And then if she sees anything funny, she'll be like, you know, I'm going to tell her, right? she actually <laughs> say it to him. And for me, as much as some people are like, oh, she's a bit, I love that. I actually love that. I think we should, you can't be your sister's keeper and this person can't be your friend if you see something like that and, you know, you're now covering up for the person or something. And there's so many people that probably be like, oh yeah, but you know what? I don't want to say that. I don't want them to say, oh, it's from, you know, tools they heard this or whatever. But if that person's your friend, that's what you should do. Guess what? No, but, if but, a guy, if a guy, if a guy sees his friend's wife, Carrying on this. Guess what? The, it's gonna be in the WhatsApp. Accent bar. Access accent accent <laughs> bar. <laughs> access guy said last season that he would never tell. Remember that conversation? Wait, that was so. He, I think he had a situation. I but I think you know. No, so. but I think that um, okay. it depends on your group of friends and what you guys have agreed on. Um, some group, some people don't want to know. I know some friends who have said, you know what? Just I don't want to know. Just if they've told you that. That's different. Do you understand that's now? Different. But if and I think it's a conversation that every group of friends should have, whether male or female. If I see something, should I say something? Do you understand? Even if it's a suspicion, should I say something? And this is and if you can't have this conversation with your friends, then I don't know yeah. what you are doing really. People are just I don't know. Mm. But I just feel like, you know, I, I've told this to my friends before. If you see something funny, let me let me know. And at the same time, if do you want to know if I see something funny? And they're like, yeah, 
Yeah, it, man. You know, so it's it's a conversation that you and I don't think that I think you you tried you tried you tried to tell her you yeah, tried to tried, warn her. You tried. To, I don't think she should feel bad about it. Mm. Um, obviously, you know, I can understand her feeling a bit upset because and this friend, what, what kind of bit, friend you know, is that that would say that sort of thing in the first place? That's mm-hmm. because you're not married. Blah 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 blah. Do you know? The, do you know there's some people that don't they want to know but they don't want to know. Does that makes sense, mm. and they kind of um, those ones that um, decide to shoot the messenger. Mm. So that's what it was. So maybe mm. she she actually did think something was going on, but she just wasn't ready to you know face it mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. Uh, you know I think I mean think about that. If you're living this life of oh everything's okay, and then you now have to deal with okay this happened. How am I going to handle the consequences? Mm. You know. But shout out to my friends, man. I have one friend. Big shout out to you. You know who you are. She'll be like, oh some some should I slash his tires? <laughs> what sort of violent friends do you have he's so imp- uh, he's so scandalized right now that's, that's, that's how you roll sometimes mm-hmm. man that's how you yes 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 slash your tires and, and the crazy thing is i've i've lived um i've lived in like what is it two, two countries yeah and it's so crazy in nigeria so many people i know are just like oh you know i i actually had somebody say to me oh yeah yeah i saw her husband what is she gonna do is she gonna leave him do you know the kind of life she's living all the cars in the car i know i know the, the, I know the person that said that thing huh no 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 this is the, oh i was gonna say the person <laughs> No, you don't know this is, this is no, somebody else. No. no, you want me to mention no. names? No, no, no. So they can come and bomb me acid. Okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not mentioning names. But um, yeah, I think there needs to be more of a, you know, a I, don't, I don't like these kind of um, surface friendships. A lot of it, uh, well, the, a lot of surface uh, friendships happen, especially because of the industry that we're in. Yeah. A lot of people want to associate with certain people but so that it, even, it feels. This isn't it, even like part of the, the people I'm talking about. This They're not even part of the industry. Maybe it's the kind of person I am. I'm like a very, you know, any if of you are, my If friends, I call you my friend, you are actually my friend and not an acquaintance. I'm ready you are not the person roll. I'm just calling because. Oh, I want to hit up the clubs. If I want, you can have your party well, you friend. Can have, you can have those kind you can of have your party well. friend, but at the same time, that yeah. person is just the party friend and is not the person that you share your hopes and dreams and your fears with or whatever it is. See, I'm, I'm. When it comes to my friends, especially people I consider like good, good friends, I and I do this quite often, and I need to chill. I carry their fights. I mm. carry. I like literally. I carry it on my head. There's one, there was somebody that my friend was dating and he did her dirty. Mm-hmm. And I used to just look at him like, I'm you up and everything. And he showed up, he showed up to my birthday party. Did you invite him? No, I did not invite him. He just, I don't know. If so she, she if, invited him? No, 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 no. I think somebody else. So there was somebody else in our circle that's like, so they were still friends with him. So she kind of had just mentioned it to him. And it was one of those clubs that they're very, very strict and everything. Mm-hmm. So, um... I now had to, so the bounce, so we were in the VIP section and then um, I now had to come and see, like come and tell the bounce, okay, this person's fine, this person's fine. And I see my friends, I'm like, oh yeah, that one, that one, that one. He's there like, hi tools. And I'm like, did you leave him there? One. Yes, I did. Good. I left him there. Absolutely. Fantastic. You, you can't come and drink my drink after Fantastic. you did what you did no. to my friend. Are you not Hey. Fully. Anyway, and I was like, and the guy was, the guy was there like, <laughs> the guy was even like trying to wave at me and I'm just like, you are so we're not coming to my party. There's still one friend, the one um, ex of my friend that I've been waiting to run into in this Lagos. You know I'm looking for you. <laughs> so there's somebody that's What's this threat for me? There's somebody, there's somebody that you know. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so my friend, my friend and this person, they split up. Mm-hmm. And for me, even though the crazy thing is I knew... I, I knew him first. We weren't really, really friends. We we're kind of like, you know, somebody that you say hi to, and then, you know, they got to, they, then I, then I met her, and then we became like, you know, good friends. I think friends I know who stuff. this is. And um, I saw her. So when they now split up, and then I found out what happened, I was just like, okay, you know what? You messed, you messed up with my friend and everything. Not, not impressed at all. And I remember one day I was driving, and I saw him running. And I called, I was like, oh, I just want John to run him over. Do you want him to just jab him a little yeah, bit? Yeah, no, gonna. You know? <laughs> I mean, I jab him, like, yes, small, but. You know, I would have just jab, not like run him over, and just That's jab like him. That's why breaks will now go crazy. You now move, wow! Keep pressing. Just reverse. I go, pick up, pick up. And I walk. And then I think I was driving my husband's car that day. I'll just come back, like, I'm. Just a little bit of blood on the bonnet. Just How to get away with murder. <laughs> <laughs> Viola Davis. But I is it but okay, is it wrong to be like that with your friends? No, it's not, not it's, not a, it's not wrong. It's not it's not wrong and I, I'm very, very fiercely protective of very, my friends. Um and if you if you hurt my friend, I mean at the same time, also, if my friends do fuck up, I do tell them you royally like you fucked up. Like there's mm-hmm. no there's no friend I have that I cannot tell 
and you know there's some people who, you know you tell them like you tell them off like this your what you did was not and they, they just kind of move back i'm like to stay there move back and stay there because if you cannot hear the truth from me then yeah. th- they don't know what we're doing yep yep Alrighty, then um, lastly, lastly, Bill Cosby has been released. Um, some people got into a lot of trouble. Um, is it Felicia Richard? I am so I don't I was, look I was at her. Disappointed. I, was I don't look at her the same anymore. Like it is a shame. I understand that she worked with this mm. guy for years. Blah blah blah. She came into. She became popular on his show. Blah blah blah. But Auntie, you can't vouch for anybody. You were not there. Were you there when he bedded these 50, 60 something plus women? And there's yeah. no way you can tell me that you did not at least, he, you know, hear or at least. Do you understand? You know how some people we know that there are some guys that hmm, mm-hmm. they are just their ways are just not pure and they're borderline rapists, that mm-hmm. kind of thing. So we know. We, do you understand? But you can't you cannot just be pretending. I mean, how much are they paying you? Yeah. I don't know. I just was I just thought I saw the uh, what she put out and I was just like, oh, you know what? Extremely bad timing and mm-hmm. it was really, really not a good look at all. Mm-hmm. Uh with regards to the Bill Cosby thing, um, I was you know, you kind of, you know, everybody saw him as the one of the first TV, like black TV dads. Yeah. Um, and he was probably, in my opinion, one of the first um like men of color that you know you saw regularly on tv you saw the family yeah, it's, it's so not it's it was, it's, it's it was fact. very very important it's a fact. It's in an black iconic culture figure. yeah yeah it was okay. it was very important to see like you know for black culture now this happened and i always feel like when it's when there's so so many women that come mm-hmm. forward mm-hmm. it's now very difficult for me to believe that the person is innocent yeah or just because the, you have the, so many women 60 that plus kind of women had come together the same story and everything um mm-hmm. now he's been released from jail mm-hmm. uh i think it was a technicality not quite sure um he can't be charged again can he so he's pretty much free mm-hmm. you know which i feel that you know for the victims that is obviously very very difficult um that's going to be a very difficult period for them um for the people that have been supporting this and somebody said somebody said this um a lot of people kind of felt like oh you know they're just trying to bring a black man down whatever 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 but I feel that you need to be very careful about what you put out there on social media. There are people that are fighting personal battles. There, there's somebody that maybe was sexually assaulted, raped, and they have never spoken about it. Mm. There are quite a lot of people. Who are just yeah, silent. there are quite a lot of people that have gone through shit that you mm. probably don't know about. And Bill Cosby is probably never going to see your tweets or your Instagram posts or your friend will. Mm. Your friend that's been dealing with, or that has know, kept quiet yeah, about something that they've gone through, or they have your family so member, or whatever it is. You just need to be very, very careful. Um, now, cancel culture. Um, um, Accent Girl was asking, um, is, does it actually exist? Yes, or? I think so. I mean, does it, does it do anything to anybody in terms of uh, situations like this, for example? Um... So for me, I I don't think I mean he's like old now, so I I haven't seen him like in a movie or anything or Mm -hmm. like on TV for a while. So you know I don't think anything is really going to change for him career wise. Now there's a there's a um, a British actor actor called Noah Mm Clark, and he was in this um, is it kidhood adulthood or something and. he got he had a few accusations you know a few women came forward that um you know his behavior to them towards them was you know aggressive and sexual and everything and literally he has been dropped from so many things he had like a tv show Mm -hmm. that was i think they were even like halfway through the season they cancelled that all of that you know sometimes i think that cancel culture is very very harsh and unreasonable sometimes I, i think that's the case but sometimes i think it is very very necessary this whole thing with baba jesha now i hate the fact that so many people try to sweep this under the carpet so many you know respected actors and people you know, who are uh, yeah, icons people are, are like, your 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 support of this guy should is, is, is scary. disgusting it's is scary. shameful and the fact that it wasn't even oh you know he said she said there it was video. on you know so it's, at the end of the day it, it then shows you that video. rape apologists really don't care about proof because a lot of times they'll say oh where's the proof where's the proof okay then there is the proof it was there in 3d and then you are still defending this guy a lot of especially and then they try to uh ban um yabojo and others do you know what and i, and I hated the fact that she had to apologize she My, had to apologize to who she, no she apologized to who Tampan. Why? She apologized. Both of them, both of them have have apologized, which I thought apologized. Yeah, I didn't know this. They apologized. 
She should I have talked over to the English part of things. Leave them. I think things like that happen mostly because the people that are willing to cancel, the people that are able to stop your bag are much fewer than the people that are going to just immediately cancel you. See, it, it's it's so messed up. It's so messed up that I saw wow. um, an interview that yeah, Rainbow did where she was like, oh, she pleaded with Princess not to escalate this, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? Why? Why would you? Somebody. It, the thing is, it's not even a oh, allegedly. We saw it on the video. Some people are saying, well, he wasn't violently raping or something. I Bottom saw. line is, she was a minor. He was touching her. He would have gone further if they hadn't like you know Again, interrupted. I say this thing every every season you need to unlearn nonsense okay just because you grew up with it or because it was acceptable going you need to unlearn a lot of things a lot of rubbish that has happened that has gone on that's been swept under the rug because you know nothing these things are not going to continue to happen and you know what you need to unlearn the nonsense how can you say i was watching another clip of some yoruba actor some older elderly man he almost wept he was like oh and that, that yabojo had the nerve to hang up on him that he called to beg her to, to stop pushing and that, that uh, is this is it today that people will sleep with each other that why does it have to get to the hands of the law i was like do you realize bro that's a child this is a child like this is a child it does my head in like my head is starting to hurt right it now just, it just makes me think that all of these people that are kind of defending him or whatever and the fact that have you noticed that he's gone from being very like oh you know i've got spiritual problems to he thinks he can actually get off and that's you know what's so scary there's a good chance that he might actually get off yeah and it's very scary um even when um when t- I, I remember i had a very very long conversation with timi dakolo mm. once about you know everything that happened with him with him and his wife and he actually said that several people called him to say let's handle this let's handle this like christians the whole world doesn't need to know about it blah blah yeah he said several people called him basically not to make a big deal about this and i was just like that is why for me i i feel that you are part of the problem if somebody committed a crime why the hell are you trying to cover it up why the hell are you in this whole let's not make it a big oh thing? let's that beg that person oh. why are you oh that begging thing that gets my goddamn and should we we've begged should we we've said begged sorry and that nigerian thing we need to stop it people need to start to pay uh, for, what for, for what they did there, there needs to be repercussions for things that the you people, do the people that start begging when you look into it you find out that this is not their first it's not their second it's not the third time they've done that but by Jesha, there's so many victims there's so many victims that probably haven't come forward there's so many victims that might not come forward after seeing that let me look at this, this is, yes i look at how this this is yeah really there's so many victims handled. that probably they don't have you know video mm. evidence and they're watching this and they're so and let's even leave him you know for a second there's so many victims of sexual assault there's so many young um like children that have been victims that are seeing all of this that are hearing what their parents are saying that probably will never speak and they, they probably will end up still enduring you know these kind of things it's bullshit it's bull crap somebody like him should be cancelled nobody should work with him he should be blacklisted even if he does some work the audience don't don't support his work don't, support him. don't put money in his pocket because the more money you put in this person's pocket the more he has the more um uh, what's it called oh, resources he has to continue to do these things to continue to abuse children to continue to cover up continue to grease palms that will make sure that he doesn't go to jail but you know yes. what Whatever. you know what this pro- this country has plenty plenty problems i remember when somebody tried to fight us um on twitter because we decided to stop playing r kelly's music and we, we decided to stop playing r kelly's music because um we it's felt like you are putting yeah <laughs> apart from that you are putting money you're not like eh, but he's in jail already but you're putting money in this guy's pocket because what happens is okay so you, i play you one r kelly song you're like ah r kelly is such a jam a genius which he is by the way musical mm. genius and then you now decide ah let me go to apple music or let me go to spotify and go stream his o- his whole album bro no i'm not gonna i'm, I'm not gonna yeah, prompt you i'm not yeah, exactly yeah, i'm not yeah. gonna prompt you to go stream his album to put money in his pockets to fight against the people that have come forward let's mm. if i have to break it down for you like that and the guy was hurling insult at us oh this then he went to classic and then and he was and we blocked him because you are over that here supporting that, a rapist. That one is quite clear that he has personal problems ah. now. Why are you going to be fighting over R. Kelly? Um, anyways, anyways, look, we could talk about this for a while. I just, it just makes me so, so sad. I'm annoyed. It just makes me so, so sad to know that they're, they're victims, they're victims 
of you know um sexual assault you know any kind of assault maybe when they were children whenever that are watching this they're seeing how this is unfolding and they're just realizing like oh my gosh so there's no way i can win mm. because there is video evidence and then there's some people are still saying eh, but you know or look you know young girls of nowadays that is Bullshit. We need to stop blaming well, young girls of bullshit. nowadays and we need to hold grown men and women who are abusers accountable. Mm. If it means that they have to go to jail for the rest of their lives, mm. so be it. Yep, yep, yep. yep. All right. So on that note, we're going to bid you farewell. Thank you so much for watching. Um, what else? What else do we need to add? Uh, yes. Yes. If you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, share sense, with your friends, share with your friends, follow us on social yep. media. I like this whole friendship. You know, the, I like this whole friendship thing. What do you when mean? people kind of are sending us, you know, fan mail about their friends and everything. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. It's, it's interesting. People have bad friends. Huh? No, I just find it interesting. Everybody has bad friends now. Everybody has. You don't have bad friends? I don't have bad no, friends. Bad friend, friend. Yeah, everybody yeah. has those, those people that maybe they were friends or whatever. Mm, and then you kind of jabber them because, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Thank yeah. you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like yes. and share. Oh! You guys can wish me happy birthday. This is my this is oh, my birthday sure. week. Okay. okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy stop! Stop! Jesus stop! <laughs> if you're going to sing happy birthday to me like that, I don't want it. So when I, I need more gusto. Did you provide happy, refreshments? Happy, 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 You are encouraging this. <laughs> <laughs> it's my birthday week. It's so what, what are the plans? Week. What are the plans? See ya. We see why. We see why. You know what? You know what I want to do? I just want to lie in bed for like a day or two and just rest. I feel like I haven't officially rested in a while. You know, so. But if you guys want to send me money, <laughs> I don't have a cash app. What? I don't have cash app. Should I get cash app so you guys can send me money? Or go fund me? Can I? Is it bad for me to put a go fund me for my birthday? Oh my Maybe yeah. not the go no, no, You know what? You know, if you guys. Oh, that's tacky. I'd rather do the Oh, well, you are the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you are the same destination. Can you imagine? Go fund me so I can get that snake skin Chanel purse I wanted that was 20,000 pounds. <laughs> It would really, really make me feel so loved and appreciated. <laughs> what is she? And honest? it would match my top. <laughs> She's honest. It, wait, wait, but really now, how many big boys and big girls are watching us now? Ah, uh, if you can do the remain the club twice, you can buy my bag now. I don't understand. Is, am I lying? Don't think of it as entitlement. This is me just saying prove your big boy or big oh girlsness. It's not entitlement. To so what end? Eh? Why am I Chanel snake skin bag? To you know what? Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>